Hey beauties, I am back with an affordable Amazon wig under $50 guys. Yes, best to believe. If you want to see more details on this beautiful African key unit, please continue watching. What's up, what's good, what's popping, guys? Your favorite island girl is back, and yes, guys, the fro is out, but no worries because a suku hair from the Amazon store is here to save the day. Today, I'll be installing this afro curly lace front wig it's a synthetic wig let's just do a little unboxing for y'all if if i do say so myself so in the inside of the package it comes with some pair of lashes it also comes with this wig cap which is mesh which i absolutely love because these mesh caps are 100 percent breathable so i'm all for these wig caps so the unit i am working with today is from the so cool hair store on amazon guys and this is the afro curly lace front wig it's actually a synthetic hair but listen you see when i finish with this hair you would not know that this is a synthetic hair the color that i'm working with today is uh, um, a natural brown so it gives that uh, you know real natural tone it's not too dark and it's not too light so as you can see the ends are super curly it's actually a um like a tea lace wig so we'll get into that a little bit further down in the video of course so those are the curls on the end the hair feels bouncy straight out of the package so this is a, like a transparent swiss lace that we are working with and of course it comes with a, your secure combs inside of it three um to be exact as well as you know you have your adjustable straps there one on each side so you can go ahead and tighten your wig as you do desire so we're gonna get into the hair details a little bit further on in today's video guys so i am loving absolutely loving the lace as i said it's a transparent twist lace so talk let's talk about the price for under 50 us dollars for all of this come on so of course you can check the link in my bio so the first thing i'll be doing is to pretty much get my natural hair all sleeked back under so it lays absolutely flat or as flat as possible under my wig cap so i'm literally just doing like one two three four braids like to the back and then just joining everything together as i usually would do so it lays flat you know usually i'd say you could cut you could maybe Put it in a bun light but i want it to be like super flat so hence why i'm doing this of course your braids does not, not does not have to be neat you don't have to be the big bad braider but this is what i am working with today so what i'll be doing before i put on my wig cap is to pretty much lay my edges just in case the wig i want to pull the wig back just a bit and i'm using a little bit of my got to be glue and i'm working that in with my edge wax and i'm just gonna go ahead and tame down my edges just in case you know a little bit of the hair is showing i'll have that all laid so next i'm going to go ahead now and tint my lace and as i said guys this is a, like a t part um lace so i'm just using a little bit of my foundation you can always up to use your powder of course and that that is just basically to grab the complexion so it just ties into your skin so what i like about it is that the lace front is actually 13 inches across and the t part goes the four inches um to the back so before before i applying my wig i am just going to go ahead now and pretty much adjust my straps so it sits on my head all you know nice as how we'd want it no slipping or anything like that so as i said i got this a wig cap in it and it's actually a mesh the wig cap which i absolutely love because these are really breathable and it helps to lay the hair flat 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 so i'm just pretty much grabbing one end of it and pretty much making like a knot and i'm just trying to get that as tight as i possibly can so i'm just applying that on just like that guys i best believe it is not no um rocket science <laughs> to pretty much applying this unit so yeah the unit is is basically ready to go on and yeah I'm, i can't get over like the curls at the ends i absolutely love it so i'm just going to go ahead now and just slip that on my head 
um basically just drawing back that over i mean it's not record sense guys i know you guys know how to put on a wig caps i'm not even sure why i'm telling you how to put on a wig but anyhow let me tell you i'm just fixing the comb towards the back and then i'm gonna flip that over and of course adjust uh, the sides you know we have some combs on each ear so what i'm gonna do next is pretty much adjust the wig as how i see it fit pleasing see it fits to my face and then i'm gonna go ahead and tuck my uh, my comb pretty much in my crown row or under my wig cap so it stays all secured i appreciate you clicking on my video today thank you so much for watching my name is jody and you get all things of fashion beauty and lifestyle over here so if you like this kind of content please remember to subscribe if you haven't already give the video a thumbs up and of course your comments are appreciated down below so to go ahead now and split up my or to remove my lace all i do now is to go ahead and to basically make two slits on each of my ear temple there about and then i'm going to go in now with a zigzag um method to um to remove the lace i mean it's not nothing too hard and fast about it i'm just going zigzag and i'm going as close as possible as i can go to my hairline but of course not damaging too much of the hair towards the front so i'm just doing that then i'm going to go ahead now with a little bit of my powder and to just basically brush that in so it has that natural look now this part is absolutely optional if if you want to create some baby hair towards the front you can go ahead and slip those off and swoop those as i'm showing you but for the purpose of this video i will not be cutting the hair any at all just to show you how the hair like literally like melts pretty much i can't believe this is under 50 us dollars so i'm going in now with a little bit of my concealer because i didn't think the, the foundation was enough and as you can see it blends up perfect like yes absolutely impressed i'm gonna go in now just to basically revive the curl pattern the natural curl pattern of this um kinky wig and i'm just using um misting my hair with just water and basically rubbing that in and i'm gonna go ahead and apply that for the entire section of the hair all the the, the over the entire wig i should say um with of course trying to maintain my curls at the ends so i'm just being super careful of how i run my fingers through now just a little bit of my uh, moisture my moisturizer just towards the top of my hair just to give it a little bit of sheen and for that to lay a little bit flat and then i'm just going to go ahead and uh, i'm strategic strategically using my hands just to get that down i don't want to use uh, like a lot of comb or brush in it to disturb the pattern too much so i'm just using my little edge brush there just to get the the top a little flat and i'm loving the hair and just like that your girl is done so of course guys you can give this video a thumbs up will you be rocking this hair let me hear down in the comment section so shout out once more to so cool um here for sponsoring today's video the hair is bouncy it's fluffy absolutely love that dark brown texture it gives it a more realistic or natural appearance super duper love it and i know my 4c girls will appreciate this kinky texture remember to check the link down in my description box for all the details regarding this hair my name is jody and i aspire to inspire until next time guys what good? Yeah, uh, every time I look enough for me.